attention unless you're just like one of those people that just has a natural right. you know right uh yeah. for me it's like i gotta keep my eye on too many burners and do all that shit yeah i always burn stuff yeah well bacon, bacon, bacon is art at a time yeah i mean it's science too I, I used to bake i was in the army oh yeah i used to be a cook in the army that's yeah. what's <laughs> that <was> crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah i always the yeah, so punishment you know lady you gotta peel potato a whole box of potatoes like like 50 they still do hundred pounds of potatoes. That's still like that's been the thing since like it's mash. Crazy. I feel like they just make yeah. potatoes, peel potatoes. The worst. Just want to make sure. Peel. Just want to make sure we shout out <laughs> Nehemiah's company at Black Hands Bakery on Instagram. <laughs> I love you call it. Black <laughs> History Month. We want to make sure we highlight someone. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. African American community. Definitely yeah. able to contribute to the cause. Um, I don't have a Patreon or one of those things because it's annoying. I also have a lot of like really rich white friends and it's awkward when I'm like, hey guys, give me money. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like they're just choosing the one to donate. <laughs> like they get like, am I going to give him whatever allotment I have saved up for him all at once or am I going to give him? Pe-? So I'm just like, I'm, you know, I don't, I try to keep that crowdfunding to a minimum uh, and I don't sell my baked goods. I really just kind of make them for people who are around. Like, it's like a side business. Cool. Nah, I man, it's not even a bit. You can't buy one. <laughs> you oh, know, I like, didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. almost like a. It's almost like a uh, like a collective. Sure. Yeah. All right. I like. I like the equality collective. I'm gonna get a five hundred suite. Yeah, it's like a, a nonprofit. Yeah. Almost. You could write that off. <laughs> I might do that. I would. Uh, I so, so the reason I made it look like a business is because <laughs> this is a better story than the NBC thing. But I had just moved. It was like soon after I had moved to Brooklyn, and you learn anybody who moves to Brooklyn, you know, in the last. Uh, decade or so like you kind of learn how to play the game of like anything you do is your brand you know what i mean you got like really just how to brand it and how to bullshit people into like giving you money to do shit Mm -hmm. Uh, right so (laughs) i was like oh i should if i'm gonna keep baking every weekend i might as well like you know take photos of it and like make it look semi-legitimate because i want to like do something with it and i actually sold some to a coffee shop so i did sell it a little bit like we got in the early days i would like sell some stuff to the coffee shop i worked at but then my friend who i was on the improv team with at college shout out emla um she works she was working at this production studio in california and they were working close to the food network and she was like oh my friend bakes and she told the producer they like check out my friend so he hit me up he looked at all my photos and everything i had online and we had a little conversation he recorded our conversation, sent it was a Skype, sent it to the producers at Food Network, not even Food Network scripts. It was like the people who own Food Network, travel, cook and all that. Parent company. Yeah, and they were like, Oh, we love it. Let's do green light a, a pilot. So they basically like paid for him to fly out a crew and like they spent a whole day filming an episode for Food Network. So I, I was like this close <laughs> to having like my own food network show. Off some shit that I was doing just for fun. Like <laughs> I didn't even 
uh, and he also learned a lot from that like that short time. That was like maybe like four or five months out of my life, but I was like, oh man. But you didn't take any lessons or anything. You do everything from scratch. Yeah, no, no lessons. And a lot of time, I don't really measure things out. People are like, baking is uh, so nah, precise. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm oh, high as hell. <laughs> Half the time, I was making anyway. Uh, uh, would you like to tell us about any other projects you're working on? Not really. You don't have to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it? What does a typical day look like for you? As, a, as, a, as an improv comedian, do you prep? Are you? That's almost sounded kind of like an insult. <laughs> no, it's not an insult. It's just it's just <laughs> give, give somebody a, who doesn't have an idea of of someone in the entertainment industry, yeah. so an actor, musician. Just getting hot under these. <laughs> Uh, what's a regular day? Man, every day is different, which is kind of what I love, but you know, you have to be okay with that precarious life. Some people need like, you know, things like health insurance. For sure. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> groceries regularly. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. but... Toiletries. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, no, I keep hygiene on deck. I, I budget my toiletries. My weed, my toiletries. <laughs> that, uh, meds, you know, my meds, I call it weed, but it's mental health. You know, sure. we'll talk more about that. Uh, every podcast we talk more about mental health, but not in a boring way, you know. I'm not sure to talk about like the, the importance of it. People, uh, yeah, we were talking about having one show based on that. Yeah, uh, mental health, or just people just talking about the saddest, saddest times. We are we all about never you know sad. That's right. That's yeah, a all fact. Think you need this point. What point is? Uh, what an awesome career, Nehemiah. <laughs> Listeners, I just want to tell you all, uh, make sure y'all know Nehemiah has a show coming up. Yeah, please Always come happy right? video. <laughs> always happy video. That's comedy this Thursday, now. February 21st. We will be checking out. I'm in we'll there. Be, we will be checking him out, right? That's yeah, I'm in there. Yeah, we in there. Let's go. <laughs> and make sure we uh, go to Brooklyn Bazaar, 150 uh, Greenpoint Avenue, 8 o'clock p.m. Oh, I like that. Video Bop, that's the Bop, has been a part of the Brooklyn Comedy Festival. Festival. It featured in the New York Times. Time out New York, New York Mags, Bedford and Bowery. Bowery. You can also check out his bakers on Instagram at Black Hands Bakery. We let comedian Josh Johnson uh, supposedly uh, might make it, you know, drop in. Bless us, brother. Stand up. Huh? If you're not familiar, get hit because he's an up and coming star. That's what's cool. 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 That is awesome. Thanks for coming, there, Maya. Thank you guys for having me. Really appreciate it. That's a fact.